Peggy 16. Fantastic world of Risen Three, Titan Lords. Risen Three is the biggest Piranha Bytes game to date, featuring a thrilling tale of demonic dangers and daring battles set against the majestic backdrop of a beautiful, handcrafted medieval world just begging to be explored. This time around, you'll get the chance to choose from one of three different factions to pledge allegiance to, which has consequences for the quest line, as well as the skills you can unlock, the armor you can wear, what type of weapons you can use, and more. Let's have a detailed look at each of the factions, starting with the Guardians. The Mages are an old circle of wise men who explore the mysterious secrets of magic. Exiled to an extensive abbey in the mountains of Tyrannus, they continue their experiments to create a gigantic weapon that can defeat the Titans and set an end to the everlasting threat. As they are no warriors, they recruited a private army of veteran soldiers as their loyal guardians. If you prove yourself worthy of becoming a guardian, you are bound to defend the exiled mages. You'll swear an oath to protect them at all costs, and start off as a cadet. You should make the vow here and now, in the sight of the Honorable Mages, to adhere to the aims and laws of the High Mages, to use all your might to assist them in their research, to never exploit the power of magic that they will teach you for sinister purposes, and to preserve humanity from total destruction by the Titans. This, I solemnly swear. Seasoned Guardians can advance in the ranks of the Guild to gain access to exclusive armors and even more powerful spells. When the player joins the Guardians, he will profit from magical training and learn the spells of crystal magic, while also exercising combat with armor and sword. You will be able to use crystal magic as an advantage during combat to defeat your opponents, both from a distance and in close-up melee combo attacks. Crystal magic can also heavily benefit whilst exploring the world. Who needs a lockpick when you can use magic to open a chest? Choosing a faction will also change the armor, weapons and skills that you can utilize in the game. For example, this is what it looks like if you become a fully-fledged Guardian General. Next up, the Demon Hunters. On Kalidor, you'll meet the Druid Eldric, who is the spiritual leader of the Demon Hunters, a once powerful order whose ancestors had fought Titans and Shadows victoriously. Once you have become a Demon Hunter, you will not be able to join another faction. Search your soul once more. As the Dark Menace approaches, the time has come for the Demon Hunters to reunite in the former cultural hub of the world and give it fresh life. Every day, the decay of their once mighty citadel reminds the Demon Hunters of their negligence over the past decades. Eager for battle, they now face the Dark Menace, ready to revive the past and fight back the shadows with their mighty axes, hammers, and swords. Eldrick invites you to join his cause in order to regain your former strength and to assist him with his research on finding the Grimoire an ancient book full of magical wisdom and power that may turn the tide of the battle against the shadows. You are the Dark Warriors of Calador. You were born to give your lives for the ancient covenant. If blood is spilled, it shall be avenged. If walls are shattered, they shall be rebuilt. Demon Hunters are extremely powerful dark warriors who rather rely on close combat and bravery during battle, recalling their bygone power and utilizing their knowledge of rune magic and its spells. Trained 
demon hunters can cast thunderclaps to throw back enemies, summon shadow creatures to their side, and enhance their strength in battle with spells such as Rune Skin or Rune Blade, making themselves even more resilient and deadly. They also surprise enemies with their skill to teleport during battle, catching them off guard to strike deadly combinations. As with the Guardians, the Demon Hunters also have their very specific look and feel when it comes to armors, weapons, and skills. Last but not least, let's take a look at the Voodoo Pirates class from the Natives faction. On Keela, you'll encounter the tribe of natives led by the mighty shaman Hirutu. The tribe joins the struggle when looking for answers to why the angry spirits of their ancestors have suddenly appeared, being awakened by an evil presence in the world. Here is the scepter of the ancestors. Use it for the good of our people. You are now one of us, Akila. By helping to put the tribe back in touch with the ghosts of their ancestors, you can prove yourself worthy of becoming one of them. Thus unlocking the power of their voodoo arts. Yet you still have a long road to prove your courage and wisdom to become a true voodoo master. The Voodoo Pirate's combat speciality is a lethal mix of sinister voodoo magic in the form of necromancy and mind control, alongside swashbuckling and dirty fighting tactics of the pirate. Using the power of voodoo has other benefits. You'll also be able to possess other NPCs, such as humans or gnomes, in order to reach your goal. Choosing to be a voodoo pirate aligned with the natives will give your character a very menacing look and feel. Here are some examples of what your armor and weapons will look like. Risen 3 offers you hundreds of quests to tackle, making the game twice as big as its predecessor. And while selecting a faction is perhaps the biggest choice in Risen 3, many others await. Choose how to best tackle quests. Choose from one of a number of companions to join you in your quest, each with their own story, agenda, personalities and abilities, or even choose which profession to specialize and progress in, be it hunting, prospecting, blacksmithing, or many others. And regardless of which faction is joined, players can also choose to specialize in which style of combat they prefer ranged, melee, or a mix of the two, or decide to focus on spells to deal damage to single enemies, the whole area, or by indirectly affecting the battle. So with three different factions, three different styles, and three very different perspectives on the world and the events, only one question remains. Are you going to take?